More rain and flooding return to Rio Grande do Sul, Brazil. That's in the southern part of Brazil, and the number of dead is continuing to rise in the floodwaters. Officials say at least 147 people in the state have died, and more than 800 have been injured. They also say the floods have displaced more than half a million people. Well, China is getting hit with new tariffs, and leaders there are vowing to retaliate. President Biden announcing the U.S. is increasing tariffs on $18 billion of Chinese imports. Tariffs will quadruple this year to 100 percent on EVs, double to 50 percent on solar cells and semiconductors, and triple to 25 percent on steel, aluminum, large batteries, and critical minerals. Those new tariff rates going into effect over the next two years. It doesn't appear ag is impacted at this time. The Biden administration, when they were the outsiders looking in, were very critical of the Trump administration. Now elites on the East Coast say that the Biden administration trade policies are almost identical to Trump's. That means it's a politically winning issue in the United States. Public opinion is, is concerned about China and what it's doing and wants politicians doing something to stop it. And that's something that China is taking notice of and we should take notice of as well. Well, if you enjoyed the Northern Lights last weekend, you weren't alone, but it impacted farmers around the world, radio and GPS disruptions. Last Thursday, NOAA's Space Weather Production Center issued a severe G4 geomagnetic storm watch. It's the first since January of 2005. And this is why at least five solar flares from this sunspot cluster which is 16 times the diameter of the Earth, had already been reported and more were expected. Those solar eruptions caused geomagnetic storms that can impact satellite systems and other electronics, potentially disrupting communications, electric grids, navigation, and radio. Last Friday, there were already reports of radio blackouts across Africa, Europe, and Asia. The good news is those radio blackouts for GPS may last for a few hours, half a day. But if you've been on a farm and you've seen farmers with electronics that aren't working, frustration and panic set in. My message there is, if this is a radio blackout, patience is your best bet. You know, check the uh, NOAA website. If the planetary K index is off the chart, if it's, you know, there's a little bar chart, if it's red instead of green, Go have an early lunch. Okay, just just go to town. Um, wait, wait it out. Uh, don't start, you know, ripping wires out and splicing things back together. It's probably not a local problem. He adds, however, a few hours to even a full day of lost GPS signal and work does come with a cost, especially for farmers that miss an optimum planting or harvesting window, costing them yield later in the season. <laughs> Well, that's a glimpse of ag around the globe. When we talked about those increased tariffs on China, but what's at risk? We have a check-in with Chip and Chip's Corner next.